Hi, I am Ingenious James and this is a configuration how to for the EMR 3000 mesh solution. Let's start with reading the quick start guide. Actually the quick start guide is a very short guide and um, there is not so much in it but there are two important points that are mentioned out here. Uh, first thing is that we have to have we need to have a working internet connection to use the NMesh uh, app. So I have that one already prepared. Second thing is that I need to have the NMesh app itself to configure the EMR 3000 uh, routers. App is available on Google Play and on App Store. So I already prepared an iPad with the NMesh app. So um, if I go to the home screen here, uh, I just like to mention how it's here that there's this information button where I already have an introduction uh, about the ingenious uh, EMR router and especially on the NMesh app and what are the possibilities here. Okay, for your reference, um, but let's start with the configuration of this uh, EMR 3000. Um, as I said, the quick guide is actually very, uh, there's nothing inside. The whole manual how to uh, set up the device uh, or the whole mesh solution is inside the app. And so this is what we're going to do. And what we want to do today is to create a new mesh network. And there we have to use the wizard. So let's start with the wizard and it right away show you or ask you or mention to you what you will need. So we need the EMR3000, we need the ethernet cable and actually the ethernet cable is needed to uh, connect uh, your modem with the mon one connection of the first um, master router. I have the cable here now and we need the power cord. Okay. Stuff is ready, so let's go to the next one. So the first thing that it asks us to do is connect the cable. Okay, it mentions here there is uh, we have to connect it to the one port. So let's do that, and I connect it here. It mentions here the router you connected will be the master router of your whole mesh network. So, so keep in mind that we are going to use this to become the master router. Okay, let's see what's next okay power up your router and wait until the led indicator changes from white to blue long flash okay let's do that one two and three okay here we go and we actually see already that we have the uh, the white LED uh, turning on. So this is actually the main status of the mesh routers. Um, now it starts to blink and we actually have to wait until uh, the color of this multicolor LED will change into a blue long um, flash. Okay, another thing that I'd like to mention meanwhile is that on the bottom here there is a Bluetooth ID and this is actually the idea that is, that is uh, uh, unique for each uh, router and uh, well it's here and we need this later because the NMesh app is going to recognize the routers by Bluetooth so let us re read this one 699 and we will need this number later okay so we see that this one starts already blue, long flash, this one and this one as well. Okay, let's press. Next. Hey, please turn Bluetooth on during setup. Okay, so I have to turn on Bluetooth of this device. Okay, next. Like I said, it uses Bluetooth to try to recognize the devices. So this will take a few seconds. So it actually already found three routers and uh, as I just mentioned, I was reading the Bluetooth ID of the router and this one is a 699 and this one I want to become my master router. This is the one that I have cabled to the modem. Okay, so let me 
select this one to become my master router. Okay, it's connected successfully. Change the white short flash. Yeah, correct. And now I have to give a name to my master router. There are some uh, default names in which I can select. But I'm going to use a custom name called Meeting Room. Okay, without the space at the end. And it's going to be next. I didn't, I don't know if you did see it, but it try to connect to internet and since my internet was working properly on that cable it already recognized that the cable is connected uh, the internet is correct connected properly okay now i have to uh, create an nmesh account and actually the nmesh account is the administration account to configure and manage and monitor the mesh network of these uh, routers so I'm going to make this and I call this uh, mesh admin mesh admin mesh admin admin okay let's do this and I have to give a password for it I'm going to use mesh config without the space at the end Okay, so this is going to be my admin account for the mesh. Second thing that I need to set up is the Wi-Fi, the SSID. This is the uh, actual Wi-Fi network that's going to be broadcasted by my uh, mesh uh, routers. So I'm going to give it a more recognizable name, which is going to be mesh uh, demo SSID without a space at the end and my password is going to be my password is going to be mesh access mesh oh, mesh access like this without space at the end okay press next so final check before we push all the settings into the master router Mesh demo SSID, the SSID name for my mesh network with the password mesh access. The administration account to configure mesh, mesh admin, and uh, the password is mesh config. Okay, in case I cannot remember this, but I already write it down, I can make a screenshot, but now I can just press save and apply. Okay, now. The system is going to, uh, the, the app is going to push this settings into my master router. This will take a while. Um, let's just count the time. Okay, it took actually less than a minute. Um, what I want to do next is add the other two devices into this uh, mesh network. So I'm going to press that. Again, I have an alert here. Please make sure Wi Fi. On the device you're using is now turn on and connect to your mesh demo ssid wi-fi network so let's do that okay let's find it here mesh demo ssid connect it and since i have prepared this in advance i don't need to put the password but normally you have to put the password in okay add more devices what you will need, mesh devices, power board, and actually we already did it, so I'm already done to go for the next step. Power up, I did it. Um, there is a certain time before uh, uh, that this long blue flash is uh, uh, blinking. And this is actually the status where the router can receive configuration data. And it's still on, so now it's fine, so I can do this again okay the mesh devices uh, need to be in this three meter uh, proximity of each other uh, to uh, be able to uh, see the rest of the yeah to find the rest of the, the devices and uh, I already found the devices so what I'm going to do now is select those two which are these two and press the next uh, what now is going to happen is that the mesh um, 
settings are going to be pushed to the other uh, uh, devices and this can take up to a few minutes okay let's wait for that okay it took us three minutes for uh, every uh, settings is pushed to the to the router now uh, I can see mesh pairing is success and I see that the blue LEDs are not blinking anymore that's now changed to a white LED pressing the next actually you're all set so we are actually done with configuring the the, 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 the mesh network Okay, so we can actually go inside the M-Mesh uh, app again to see what, uh, what happens because now we can uh, see uh, uh, yeah, what we did. Um, I have to use the admin account which I just made, Mesh Admin, and the password that I just keyed in. Um, yeah, let's see if I can log in and see what happened. Okay, so if I look here in this uh, M-Mesh app, um, there is the internet speed test, which is actually the speed of the internet, which is shown, just made, uh, just did. Um, Wi-Fi settings, this is actually the setting uh, of the Wi-Fi that I made. You see, uh, recognize mesh demo SSID. I can change it here and I can also um, make another uh, guest network. So we're not going to do this now. Uh, I can find devices and I actually can see that of course the first device master router with the crown uh, is the one that I have called meeting room and there are two more devices here in this uh, setup if I click on this one I see that the name is here so the original name I can change it here I'm going to place this in my hall so I'm going to rename this to hall and save it and then the settings will be pushed to this uh, uh, router and that is going to be the router that's called Hall. Okay. Um, let me see if I can see the network here. Uh, let's go to Wi-Fi settings. And yes, I have uh, the mesh demo SSID. Let's connect to there. And later I can also look at the clients okay devices okay so clients I have here I just uh, enable my phone to connect to the network it will take a few seconds to be able to see that um, connection status I find here uh, I have two devices uh, inside the uh, connected to meeting room and that one is connected okay to internet Okay, let's see if I can already see my clients here. It will take even maybe a little bit more time. Okay, actually, what we um, we are actually done with uh, setting up this whole uh, mesh network. The only thing that we probably need to do is uh, rename this router as well. And after saving it here, the settings will be saved inside the devices. Uh, what we now have to do is uh, Turn everything off and place it on the right placement in our building. So this is actually, let me see if I can already see the clients. Yes, I see my um, phone is already connected and is actually connected not via meeting room, but via one of the other ones, the 700, which is this one. So my telephone is actually connected to this one. And there are some settings, uh, especially on the clients where you can ban and, and uh, make the timings for uh, internet access, but that will be explained in another video. Okay, I hope that everything is clear with the configuration. I am Ingenious James, over and out.